Hello, everyone. Welcome and thank you for joining us for our Zumba workout today. Quick reminder before we get started, you're responsible for your own personal health and safety throughout this workout. Be mindful of how your body's feeling, modify movements and take breaks when needed. We are excited to share our mission through our Zumba workout today by providing life-changing opportunities through sports and physical activity to individuals who are blind and visually impaired. Take it away, Tara. Thank you everyone for joining us for a Zumba workout. For uh, our warm up, I will describe the exercises as I do them, so do them with me. Let's start by walking in your space or walking in place. I'm going to be on the yoga mat, so I'm walking back and forth the width of a yoga mat. Uh, for our Zumba sequences, we will go through three different songs. Each song has four different moves dedicated to it. So before each song, I will describe those four moves, go through them with descriptions, and then as we go through the actual song, we will uh, do the moves and I will call out the name of the next move and we will move through it together. So you'll get those verbal cues while the song is playing. So walking back and forth here, something important, uh, if you ever uh, forget what a move is or you don't remember the cue or whatever it is, just keep moving. That's the most important thing, movement and fun. Next up, arm circles. So put your arms into a T shape or an airplane shape, roll your arms, your shoulders forward into small circles and progressively make those circles bigger each time you go so that you're eventually going to have your arm circles as big as you can make them. Mine are in the middle now, getting pretty big. And Mine are as big as they can go. I'm gonna get a few in here and I'm going to stop. And now I'm going to reverse direction. So now backwards, starting with those small circles again, working my way towards bigger circles as I go. Progressively bigger and bigger and bigger. And mine are as big as I can make them. Get a couple in here. Next up, high knees. So for high knees, you're going to lift one knee at a time up as high as you can with a, a bend in your knee. So knee to chest, alternating. When we do high knees, we use our arms in opposition. So uh, right knee comes up, left arm bent at an L shape comes forward and same with the opposite side. High knees at your own pace. I'm gonna pick up my pace a little bit here. And let's go into glute kicks. So I'm gonna take my heel to my bottom and then the same thing with the arms in opposition. So right heel comes up, left arm goes forward. Left heel comes up, right arm goes forward. All right, with that, let's move on to windmill toe touches. So start with your feet wider than shoulder width apart, but still comfortable. Um, and then what you're going to do is put the, your arms in that T shape again. You're gonna hinge at your waist. You're gonna take your left hand and bring it reaching towards your right foot, then come back up to your starting position, right hand to left foot, come back up to starting position and repeat this motion. If your hand doesn't reach your foot, that's fine. Mine isn't today either. So reaching for your knee or shin or wherever you can reach works just fine. Get a few more of these in. And moving on to the next warm up, which is calf raises or heel raises. So bring both of your heels up at the same time and then back down. So bouncing on your tippy toes, back down. Up and down at your own pace. If you need to hold on to something, feel free to hold on to something. And with that, I'm gonna get a sip of water. Feel free to have water nearby. 
let's go into our four moves for sequence one. Sequence one, we have our moves are called hands up, high knee, toe taps, uh, ski jumps, and grapevine. So hands up, high knee. So we just did high knees in the warm up, and this time we're adding a hands up, high knee. So what that means is you're going to have your hands up in the air when your knee is high. So instead of arms with opposition here, left knee is in the air, hands are in the air. And then when I bring my left knee up, my arms go down by my sides, left knee goes down, arms go up. So you, every time your knee is up, your hands are down, leg is down, hands are up. So it's called hands up, high knee. And you will alternate right and left, right and left. So hands are up, legs are down, hands are down, a knee is up. Hands up and high knee. Next move is toe taps. So you can put your hands on your hips or whatever is comfortable for you. Uh, and for toe taps, you are going to stand in a comfortable position and take your right leg, tap your right foot forward in front of you, and then bring your right leg back to where it started. Left toe taps in front of you brings it back to where you started. I like to compare this to testing the waters. If you're near a body of water, dip your toes in. Maybe it's the water's too cold, bring it back and then try with the other foot. So that is our toe taps. Next up is ski jumps or hop overs. So these are gonna be little two-footed jumps side to side. So I'm gonna start on a little bit to my right. Uh, of my space, have a slight bend in my knees, have my elbows, my arms bent, my elbows are tucked back behind my um, behind me. And then I'm going to jump slightly to the left and land on both feet. I'm jumping no more than a foot's distance side to side. When I land, I land with my elbows tucked back in that same position. And then I jump to the right again. And I'm gonna be jumping back and forth, two feet to two feet small, tiny lateral jumps. When I jump, I do swing my arms forward and then I swing them back when I land again. So it's a very quick motion. So jump, arms forward, land, arms back. Jump, arms forward, land, land arms back. When my arms are forward, you can't extend them straight. Mine don't quite extend all the way straight. They are about three quarter bend before they come back and tuck behind me. That is hop overs slash ski jumps. And the fourth move is called grapevine. So you will be traveling laterally or side to side for this one as well. What you're going to do, I'm starting on the right side of my space. You're going to take your left foot, step out to the left, take your right foot, cross it behind your left. So your legs are crossed here in an X shape. And then you're gonna step your feet together or back into a comfortable position. And then you can snap, clap, whatever you'd like to do when you make it to this point. So um, the cues will be starting from the left. You'll step with your right foot, cross with your left, together, snap, clap. So step, cross, together, snap, clap. Step, cross, together, snap. Uh, when I do this, I find that when I do the step, cross, together, Sometimes I'll step my feet wider part so that one foot is in front of the other and I'll lean back as I snap, lean my torso back as I snap. Uh, so that is an option as well. But uh, with all these moves, add your own flavor, add your own pizzazz to them. They are um, open to your own creativity as we go through. There's not necessarily a right or a wrong way. Um, and that's the nice thing about dance. So with that, let's go through that um, without music. I'm gonna do eight counts. When the music's playing, I'll try to keep it around eight, but it might change depending on the beats. So hands up, high knee. We're gonna start our music list sequence in three, two, one. Hands up, high knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight toe taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. S ski jump slash hop overs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great vine. Step, cross together, snap, step, cross together, snap, step, cross together, snap, step, cross together, snap. And that is that. Uh, we are ready for music. All right. We are starting with the workout remix to Jolene by Dolly Parton. And we are starting in three, two, one. Hands up, my knees. Drink water. I'm gonna get a sip of water here. 
And let's move on to sequence number two. So sequence two, we have high knee core twist, side jacks, heel hops, and side shuffle. So high knee core twist. Again, another variation on a high knee. Um, this time we're gonna bring back those arms in opposition. So left knee raises, right arm comes up and forward. You want your right elbow to come to meet your left knee. So you're twisting your core to get your opposite elbow to your opposite knee. So the movement should really be in your core, getting that core involved here. So opposite elbow to opposite knee is what high knee twist is. Next up, side jacks. Um, similar to your classic jumping jack, but we will be doing half of the motion at a time. So one half of your body will be doing the jumping jack motion. So body is in an eye shape. Feet are standing in a comfortable position. Arms are down. Right foot steps out to the right and right arm raises to the sky, similar to a letter K. Right arm comes back down and the right leg comes in back to an I shape. Let's go to a K shape on the other side. Left leg steps out, left arm raises back to center. These are side jacks. Uh, if you want more cardio, put both arms up no matter what leg is stepping out or do the jumping jacks. Uh, that is side jacks. Next up, heel hops. So heel hops, there's a couple of variations. So start standing in a comfortable position. First variation is a heel tap. So um, last sequence we did toe taps. This time we will do heel taps. So take your right heel, tap it in front of you, then bring it back to your standing position. Left heel, tap it in front of you, bring it back to your standing position. First option for heel hops. Second option is using those arms in opposition yet yeah, again. Right heel taps, left arm raises to the sky. Bring both back in, left heel taps, right arm raises to the sky, back in. Where you get the heel hops from is you can choose to add a hop to whatever style you prefer while you're switching. So you can either hop as you switch feet, so you get some air here, or you can hop, switch, hop, switch, hop, switch, um, whatever works for you to get some cardio. Those are heel hops. Next up, side shuffle. So you are going to be traveling sideways for this move. So what you will be doing is, take, well, I'll describe the feet first. I'm to the right side of my space. Left leg takes the tiniest step to the left. Right leg follows. Left leg takes the tiniest step to the left. Right leg follows. Left leg takes a step to the left. Right leg follows, step to the left, right leg follows. So I took four steps to the left and I am at the other end of my yoga mat now. So those are very small steps. Now travel it back, right foot, left foot follows, right foot, left foot follows, right foot, left foot follows, right foot, left foot follows. Those are the feet to the side shuffle. Beautiful thing about side shuffle, you get to choose what upper body suits you. So you can shimmy your shoulders. So moving left shoulder forward, right shoulder back and then switching quickly and then you can do jazz hands. So um, arms in a W shape, palms face forward, fingertips up to the sky, shake your hands like crazy, keep your arms still, that's jazz hands. Or what I like to do is shoulder dips. So every time I step to the left with my left foot, my left shoulder dips down. And then when my right foot steps back in, they level back out. So left foot steps, left foot, sh left shoulder dips, feet together, shoulders level out. And you can do this on the way back as well. Right foot steps, right shoulder dips. So add whatever you'd like to that side shuffle, add your own flair. Uh, so recapping, high knee core twist, side jacks, heel hops, and side shuffle. So let's go through that without music. So high knee core twist in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, side jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, heel hops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, side shuffle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we bring it back to the top. Uh, with that, we are ready for music.
All right, next up, we have another workout remix to This Will Be. And in three, two, one. I need four twists. Side jack. Sequence number three. All right, sequence three. Our moves are called step forward, step back, overhead wave, squat, and walking. So for step forward, step back, you are going to stand in a comfortable position. You are going to take your right foot and step it forward. Then you'll take your left foot and step it forward so that your feet are together again, standing in a comfortable position. Then you're just gonna take a step back, right foot back, left foot back. So right foot forward, left foot forward, right foot back, left foot back. So 
I'm calling the step forward because you're stepping forward and then stepping back. Add your own flair with your arms. I'm swinging my arms back and forth across the center of my body in front of my hip area. You can snap your fingers, do a little hip shaking, whatever your heart desires. That is our step forward, step back. Next move, overhead wave. You're gonna put your hands above your head, bring them up and over to the left, bring them up and over to the right. Waving um, over your head, painting it an upside down U shape over your head. Uh, next up, squats. So for squats, there are many different ways to do squats. Do whatever makes you comfortable. I am gonna have my feet wider than um, my hips, so probably shoulder width apart. And then I'm going to bend my knees and sink my hips back. So I'm sitting on an imaginary chair here. Chest is still face forward. So I'm not, and my face is face forward. So I'm not, my torso is not face towards the ground. It's still face up. And you want your knees over your ankles. So you really want to sit back. You don't want your knees to extend forward towards your toes. You really want them directly over your ankles because you don't want to put extra added pressure on your knees. So really sitting back as far as you can um, to keep those knees over those ankles. I, when I do squats, you can either have your, like, your hands on your hips. Sometimes I put them in a, my hands in a prayer position in front of my chest, whatever works best for you to do your squats. Um, instead of eight squats, we will do four because going down and up is technically two counts. So we'll do a little bit less squats. Um, and then walking. So walking, you're going to walk four steps forward, four steps back to bring us to eight. Um, I am doing this on a yoga mat. So I take four steps forward. And then when I take my four step back, I'm on the yoga mat. So I know I'm back where I'm started. Find whatever works best for you. Uh, when walking, feel free to shimmy it, jazz hands, um, shoulder dips. You can put your hands in fists and roll them around each other in front of your torso as if you're rolling a ball of yarn around one of your fists. Um, whatever works for you, you can either even do an option I didn't say. So those are our four moves. Let's practice them without music really quickly, starting with step forward, step back, and we will begin. One, two, three, four, overhead wave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squatting. One, two, three, four. Walk it out. One, two, three, four, back, two, three, four. And that brings us to the end of sequence three. Let's rock out. All right. Our third song is the workout remix to Karma Chameleon. In three, two, one. Step forward, step back.
To our cool down. Feel free to replay and re-go through those as many times as you want. Check out our other Zumba videos. We have plenty up there on YouTube. Uh, uh, for as far as our cool down, I'm going to do the exercises as I describe them. Feel free to do these or do your own. Your body is different than mine. So you know what your body needs to stretch out more than I do. Um, with that being said, feel free to do them longer or shorter duration of time if you do choose to follow along with me. Uh, we're going to start in tabletop position on the floor on our hands and on our knees. And we're going to start to do cat cow. So for cat pose, you're going to push your hands into the ground, straighten your arms, curve your back upward. And when you're curving upward, really push through and dip your hips down. Lift your face up so it's facing forward. This is cow. So feel free to go through cat-cow at your own pace. Transitioning between pushing your hands through the ground for cat and dipping your belly for cow. I'm going to transition through to downward dog. So I'm going to curl my toes under, lift my knees off the ground, push my hips up towards the sky. My legs are straight, my arms are straight. I'm in upside down V position. This is downward dog. The goal here is to push your heels down as close to the ground as you can. And what we can do is we can bend one knee at a time. So bend your right knee, really focus on pushing your left heel down into the ground. Switch, bend your left knee, really focus on putting your right heel down to the ground. And this is called pedaling through until you feel comfortable enough to extend both legs straight and really drive both of those heels down into the ground. A few more breaths here. I'm gonna come down to my knees and then roll down and get onto my back. So laying on my back, you can extend your left leg straight onto the ground, hug your right knee into your chest with both hands. Deep breaths here, do some ankle circles while you're here. While your ankle is in the air. And when you're ready, switch. Right leg extends to the ground, left knee hugs into your chest. Ankle circles here as well. From here, you're gonna put your arms into a T-shape on the ground, bend your knees so that your shins are parallel with the ceiling. Toes are pointed towards the ceiling as well. Legs are at a 90 degree angle. Slowly bring your knees all the way over to the right and you'll feel your left shoulder want to peel off the ground a little bit. That's okay. Getting a little twist here. A few breaths here. When you're ready, bring those knees back up shins parallel with the ceiling and let your knees fall over to the left this time. A few 
few breaths here. When you're ready to come out of that, bring your knees back to center. Then you're gonna sit yourself up and extend your legs straight forward on the ground, toes towards the ceiling and reach for your toes for a seated forward fold. If you can't reach your toes, totally fine. I can't reach my toes, so. All right, next up, butterfly stretch. So bring the soles of your feet together. So the bottoms of your feet are touching in front of you. You have your knees bent. Um, so your right knee is bent pointing out to the right, left knee is bent pointing out to the left. And then keeping a straight back, your spine straight, so not curving, hinge forward at the waist for a deeper stretch. Um, you can either hinge forward for a deeper stretch and pull your feet in closer to your body for a less of a stretch, sit up taller and have your feet further away from your body. Finally, we'll go into our last cool down stretch, which is going to be child's pose. So get back into that tabletop position on your hands and knees. Turn your knees outward slightly to 10 and two o'clock. Bring your toes together behind you. Sink your bottom back into your feet. Extend your arms forward, which will bring your forehead to the ground. And feel this stretch through your spine, elongating your arms in child's pose. Take a few de deep breaths here and relax. All right, go ahead and come out of that when you're ready. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to check out our other videos on our YouTube channel, like the video, subscribe to the videos so we know what people like and what people want more of. Thanks for joining.